Yeah, cool. Kavita Exotic Greens. Haven't had a Kavita in a minute. I'm excited. Master Brew Kombucha. That's their thing. Master Brew. They're masters over at Kavita Industries from Oxnard, California. I believe Anderson Pock is also from Oxnard, if I'm not mistaken. Ingredients, sparkling water, kombucha culture, green tea, black tea, natural flavor, filtered water. A lot of these use the green tea, black tea with the kombucha culture. I guess that's just a typical thing for a brewing kombucha. I don't know. Yum berry flavor. We've seen that in Kavita before. Is that some kind of proprietary thing? Certified organic ingredient. Yum berry. Spirulina. So there's some fake sugar in here. Kale powder, spinach powder. Green, more green tea, stevia, so a lot of fake sugar. Not meaning, I'm not trying to say it's bad for you or whatever. Oh, and I got a new plant today. I found this planter on the ground. Somebody was throwing this thing out. It was all messed up, and I cleaned it off. It was in real bad shape. And I got a coleus plant from the grocery store, so I'm excited to add this one to my collection. I think I now have six plants. I'm a plant noob, just like I'm a kombucha noob, so... I'm just getting into shit here out, trying to survive COVID. Um, 35 cal, and what do we got? Eight grams of sugar. So, I mean, that's because you got stevia, so you don't really need real sugar. Not shaking these things up anymore like an asshole, because I learned that you just swash them around a bit. Swirl gently. Relatively clear, kind of that ginger ale type of feel. Smells really good from here. Haven't had a lot of Kavitas that have really blown me away. I apologize if you can hear the rain outside. It's pretty loud. I also apologize. This is kind of just what happens to my hair. If, I, if it's like foul weather and I don't like comb it. If I comb it and let it dry because it's so thick, it'll just kind of take the shape of whatever I do. But if I just like kind of like muss it up or whatever, um, gussy, gusset. Actually, this smell is strange. Hold up. Exotic greens. So what's it supposed to be like? What kind of greens? Kavita's weird, man. This is a strange smell. It's a little bit off-putting. It's kind of good. It's like sweet and then a little bit like, I don't know, off like something old, an old dead material, like inanimate object, not alive, not like a dead animal, more like a dead uh, chess piece, kind of like an old chess piece. Shout out, um, shout out, shout out Jeremy Silman, I have a couple of his books. It's not bad. It's mild, super mild. No kombucha flavor whatsoever for my palate. Definitely fruity. I don't get any greens. They do, they do weird shit in the lab over at Kavita Industries. Same thing with Brew Doctor. I feel like they do just do like musical chairs with the names. <clears throat> they don't even seem to pertain to the flavors half the time. Exotic greens? I don't get no green. Exotic fruits, maybe. You might... Exotic fruits? Like the kale... <clears throat> Do I get kale? I mean, it's a stretch for kale. No spinach. I don't get greens. I don't get... <clears throat> rutabaga. Maybe you could talk to me about a carrot. That's not a green. But if it said like fucked up carrots, exotic carrots, that okay, I could get that. I could, there's a correlation there for sure. Exotic fruits, I'm in. Entirely green label, exotic greens. It's just a bit of a mind fuck. But that's no reason to say that I dislike this. This is this is fine. This is good. It's not going to be very memorable for me. I th I'm starting to feel like Kavita is its own niche. It's not for me, for the people out there who like it. 
all due respect, maybe it's for real kombucha heads. I don't get like a strong kombucha like taste or scent from Kavita, but that could just be, that's just my opinion. That's just, I don't know shit. For me, it's not great. But out of all the Kavitas I've had, I think the last one I have is a lavender melon. I can't remember, but this is my favorite out of the Kavitas for sure. This is solid, not greens. Got a new fucking plant, small guy. I can add him to my cactus. I'm still figuring out where to put these guys on the windowsill. I had an issue, I could show it on another video, but my plants sitting on the windowsill for too long because I'm watering them and some of the water drips down a little bit, it actually fucked up the paint on the sill. So this is it, now this is a project. I got these, I got these runners, like these um, cloth material that I can cut to size and then I can put it on top of the sill and the plant, the pots can go on top of that. And then I can just clean it in the washing machine every couple weeks. Um, because now I'm gonna have to repaint spots on there that's fucked up. I don't wanna be fucking up my apartment. It's beautiful in here. I love it, I try to show respect. But I got two new plant, well one new plant. This is semi new, but this cactus is, is blooming really well. And I have one more pot to fill in the back Get a plant in there and then behind me you can kind of see it i don't know why i'm randomly doing this apartment update but if you look like right here in this little gap right here well that's my kitchen right there and on this corner right here i want to hang a plant boom right there that's kind of falling down and they have these drapey uh fucks that they sell down at the plant store over here so that's coming up stay tuned i'm drinking more of these shits Every fucking day I'm drinking these joints, you know what I'm saying? I, I like them, they, they taste good. Yeah, they're not all home runs, but like, what are we gonna do here? I'm not giving everybody an A+, plus. this isn't middle school art. I gotta have some standards here. Kavita's not for me, this flavor is good. Hell yeah.